Hey guys, it's Kyle from MidCurrent, and uh, thanks for joining us for another episode of Inside the Box. So today we have something from Outcast, and we're gonna open this thing up, spread it all out here so you can see what it is, and uh, let's get to it. We got everything unpacked here. Um, this is actually the Outcast Fish Cat Cruiser, and what it replaces is the Fish Cat 4. So this is the newer model of that, basically. And um, just looking at everything right here, I mean, I was actually really surprised at how small this thing is. It, it was really easy to undo by myself. And um, so just looking at the parts here, the first thing we'll get to is, um, it does include a bunch of little uh, extra things like uh, different nozzles when you're blowing this up. Sometimes uh, if you have a pump that's not compatible with the nozzles, they give you extra ones here. And then if you get a puncture in there, it has some extra material in there to pack. Uh, fix that up. These right here, it's actually kind of unique how they pack this. These were actually the packing material in the actual box, but they're actually your cushions too that go inside of, you know, the back here. So really nice use of uh, recycling, I guess. And, uh, you know, these things, they're definitely going to survive in the water. They're not going to mold out and stuff uh, just because they're made of, you know, pretty sturdy foam. And uh, so that's what these little cushions, the white ones here are. Um, the oars come in three pieces, so very compact. Um, you pretty much, you know, just slide these tubes right in there and they just kind of snap into place, just like that. And the way they attach uh, is pretty interesting. They, there's obviously two attachments on the front right here. This little part screws off, which is still attached so you don't accidentally drop it in the water and, you know, lose your top. Uh, but once you screw these off, you just kind of take them and you screw them on just like this here and then both your oars are attached and you don't have to worry about really any other mechanism to attach them. So it's pretty simple with that. So the next thing I want to show here is actually what's called the stripping apron. Um, this thing is a really great idea. Um, it's something I would have never thought about. And what it does is it attaches with just two magnets here. So really simple. And it goes over the top of you, just like an apron, and it catches your fly line on the top here so it doesn't fall through and you know get under your legs and all that kind of stuff. It kind of acts as like a stripping basket that's built into the actual boat. So very easy to get in and out of with the magnets. It just comes right off. And uh, when you're ready to stow it away, it just kind of rolls up just like this. So really, really ingenious idea here. Um, Another part that I want to show is this thing is loaded with compartments. So you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Both these sides, they're the same thing. Um, it's also got a mesh pocket that's zippered back here. So anything, you know, like tippet, spools, leaders, anything like that. Um, and then in the front here, it's also got two handles as well. So you can kind of drag stuff around or just whenever you wanted to grab it. You know, this thing is very simple to set up with one person. I think that's kind of the best part about it is it doesn't take two people. It's got two air chambers on each, or one air, air chamber on each side, so two total. And um, you just blow up these individual pieces here and then uh, you're good to go and push this thing out there in the uh, water and get to fishing. So, you know, overall, just a really, really nicely designed, very durable. Um, you know, I think it's gonna be pretty hard with this, um, the type of vinyl material, the air cell material they use in this. Uh, it's very puncture proof, so you know you can probably go over plenty of trees and things like that and not have to worry about popping this thing. So uh, it is $359 and you can check it out on Outcast's website. And uh, yeah, I'd say give it a try out this summer. Thanks for watching Mid Currents Inside the Box. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if there's any gear you want us to check out, make sure you leave it in the comments below.